Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to multiply or find the products of the following algebraic expressions. In the first example, a, I have a minus b all to the power of 2. Applying the laws of exponents, if I have x squared, if I'm to expand, I have that as x times x in two places. If I have x to the power of 3, what that means is I have x multiplying each other in three places. So I have that as x times x times x. And that goes on for x to the power of n. That means I'm going to multiply x in n places. So therefore, expanding what I have, I have a minus b all squared to be a minus b multiplying a minus b. I take the content of the bracket as 1. Now, because the content of the bracket is a binomial expression, if I have two binomials multiplying each other, my first expansion should give me four terms. Why? Because a binomial is made up of two terms, so I have two terms multiplying another binomial with two terms. That will give me four. So if I go back to my expansion, what I'm going to do is either I use my full method of expansion or I take each content of the first bracket and multiply it with all the content in the second bracket as shown. You can follow the arrow. So I have A multiplying all the content of the bracket. Then I take my B also multiplying the content of the bracket. So starting with a, I have a multiplying a. I'm going to use the dots to represent my multiplication. I have plus. Then I have a multiplying minus b. I have a multiplying minus b. Because of the minus, I will be using my bracket. Plus. Then in the second term, that's minus b. I will use my bracket. Anytime I have a negative term, I use the bracket. So I have minus b multiplying a in the second bracket. Plus, I have my minus b again multiplying minus b. That's the last term. Before I go ahead, because I have 2 by 2 multiplying each other, that's 4 terms. I'm going to start by counting my terms to be able all to be sure I've done or I'm done with all my multiplication. I have one, two, three, and four. So therefore, having four terms, that's when you have a binomial multiplying another binomial. The next step is to simplify. For the first term, I have a times a applying the laws of exponents that will be a to the power of two. However, because I have minus in the bracket. I have minus times plus, that will give me minus or negative. So I have minus, then a times b, that's ab. If I go to the third term, I have the minus in the bracket again, multiplying my plus, that will be minus. Then I have a times b, ab. And for the last time, minus times minus, that's plus, then b times b is b to the power of 2. So I have plus b to the power of 2. Before I go ahead, I'm going to do a double check to be sure or simplify and group all my similar terms. So I have a, b and a, b. Those are the same variables. So simplifying, my final answer will be a squared minus a, b minus a, b. That's minus 2 a, b because there's an invisible one in front of your AB as shown. Then I have plus B squared. Let's look at a second example. In my second example, I have A minus B all to the power of 3. So like I explained earlier, that if I have X to the power of 3 expanding, that will be X times x times x. That's x in three places. So I'm going to apply the same algebraic principle. 
and that will be a minus b in three places times a minus b. Now, in the first example, I was able to expand a minus b all squared. I had a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So what I'm going to do is to copy the same answer. I have a minus b multiplying each other in three places. I already solved for a minus b all squared. So replacing that, I have a minus b multiplying what I have in my first question or example. That's a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Now in this case, this is a binomial multiplying a trinomial. A binomial has two terms multiplying a trinomial three terms. That means my first expansion must have six terms. So what I'm going to do is pick the first term in the first bracket. That will multiply all the terms in the second bracket as shown. And then I have a multiplying the third term and likewise I pick the second term that's minus b always take note of the signs will multiply all the content in the second bracket so going through my expansion remember I'm to have six terms I have a times a squared I'll use a dot as multiplication that's a times a squared plus I have a times because of the negative sign, I'll use my bracket, minus 2ab, that's a times the second term, plus a times the third term, that's b squared. I'm done with a. The next step is to go to my second term, that's minus b. So I have that as minus b, multiplying the first term in the second bracket, a squared, plus I have minus b again, Multiplying the second term, because of the minus, I use the bracket again, 2ab plus minus b, multiplying the last term, that's b squared. The next step, before I go ahead, I'm going to count all my terms to make sure there are 6. So, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Note that each term is being separated by a plus or a minus. In this case, the plus separates all the terms. The next step is to simplify. I have a times a squared. I have lots of exponents. 1 plus 2, there's an invisible one here, so that will be a to the power of 3. Then because of the negative sign, that's minus times plus, that's minus. 2a squared b then i have plus a b squared then i have minus a squared b the fifth term that will be minus times minus that's plus 2 a b squared and the last term minus b to the power of 3. The next step, I still have my six terms. The next step is to group like terms. So like terms, meaning I have terms with a squared b, and then terms having a b squared. I'll put a triangle under that. Then I have a cube and b cube standing alone. So grouping like terms, my final answer will be a to the power of 3 minus 2ab a squared b minus a squared b that will be minus 3 a squared b then if i go to a b squared i have a b squared plus 2 a b squared that's plus 3 a b squared and my last term minus b to the power of 3 thanks for watching bye